So recently, a couple things happened that helped me realize that uh, people might just have their priorities just a teeny tiny bit out of whack. Either that or someone desperately wants us to look the other way and ignore the 900 pound gorilla in the room, a gorilla I like to call reality. Now here are the two stories that are vying for your attention today. On one hand, yeah, Pepe Le Pew. Is he gonna be the victim of cancel culture? That adorable cartoon character? That's a story. Now the other story that's happening is the $1.9 trillion Wuhan relief bill that just passed the Senate. Yeah, they signed off on it. So $1.9 trillion of American taxpayers is flying out the door. And guess what story is blowing up the internet? Pepe Le Pew. Are you kidding me? Now, I love this guy as much as the next person. I love these cartoons. I'm Pepe Le Pew. Come here to me. You are a little skunk too. But I care a little bit more about the $1.9 trillion and everything that goes with it. Don't you remember when, when the Democrats promised $2,000? When Nancy Pelosi and Sleepy Joe were like, you just, you just elect us, you just elect some Democrats, we're gonna give you $2,000. Well, they lied. You're getting 1,400 bucks. That's the amount of the check. Now there's 360 million Americans, right? So let's do the math. $1,400 times 360 million doesn't come close to being 1.9 trillion. Where did all the money go? I thought this was supposed to be relief for Americans. There's barely any. There's not even enough to really call this American Wuhan relief. It's like with fruit juices and fruit drinks. If there's not enough actual real fruit juice in it, you just gotta call it a fruit drink. And this $1.9 trillion dollars is 100% fruit drink. Now people are like, but seriously, we gotta make sure Pepe is okay. I love that guy. And then there's other stuff that's going on I care about. Meghan Markle was on Oprah. We should look at that. Meghan Markle said there's bad people in the royal palace. I don't care. I don't care. You should care about the $1.9 trillion because you're on the hook American taxpayer. Yeah, we got to pay this money back. So you do the division the other way. There's 360 million Americans that all have to pay back $1.9 trillion. So for each American taxpayer, guess what that works out to? Woo, 5,700 bucks. So they're pretending to give you 1,400, but guess what? You're on the hook for 5,700. You just got scammed. If it was a carnival game, they'd shut it down. Yeah, but bro, um, Meghan Markle was victim and Pepe Le Pew's getting cut out of Space Jam and I like Dr. Seuss. Me too. Okay, you can still get the Dr. Seuss books. If you want Pepe Le Pew, you can buy the DVDs. And if you really like the royal family that much, maybe you need professional help. This $1.9 trillion is going everywhere and not in your pockets and you're on the hook. And when I say everywhere, I mean everywhere. I'm talking about prisoners are gonna get a check for 1,400 bucks. People on death row are gonna get a check for 1,400 bucks. The Boston bomber is gonna get a check for 1,400 bucks. And we, American taxpaying citizens, we are on the hook and gotta pay it all back. Whoo! It makes my blood boil. Now, if you want to talk about cancel culture and Pepe Le Pew, I'll do it when I have the time. But right now, I want cancel culture to shift its focus to the people who actually need to be canceled. These DC politicians that keep spending our money like it's going out of style and then we got to pay it back. You want cancel culture? Cancel them!